Good morning everyone, happy Wednesday. Yeah, definitely Wednesday. Uh, no word yet from the VA, from the surgical team about the port, but you know, it's the VA, they take their sweet time with everything. So, just one step at a time. Tonight I have a meeting with the fire company for the combined fire rescue picnic that we're doing in July, and uh, just finalizing all the paperwork and everything for that, and then uh, Tomorrow I have pain management, but sometime between now and then, hopefully the VA calls to schedule an appointment about the port. Hopefully. And it sucks, but it's life. Uh, so yeah, it's a beautiful day outside. Probably gonna go get the truck washed since it rained yesterday. Uh, we had massive thunderstorms roll through while I was waiting to go to infusion clinic, and when they came through, it, it poured heavily. So yeah, time to get the truck washed and then do some homework and get ready for the meeting tonight. So pretty much that's the day right now. Still bummed that the port failed, but as soon as I know more, I'll let you guys know more. So I've been chilling here at the rescue company. Again, everyone's out on calls. Uh, the next meeting I have tonight is in the next 15 minutes, which is here at the company. So I've been editing the vlog, doing homework here, just kind of relaxing and doing my thing. Still no word yet uh, from surgical staff about the port, but I did talk with my infusion clinic nurse this morning and discussed what happened last night in the ER and what the next steps are from here. Um, basically, what they're going to have to do is either replace the port completely, which means surgical removal, and then put a new one in somewhere else, or a dye study first, which is, excuse me, they access the port, inject a radioactive dye into it and see where it's failing so that way we can figure out do I just need to roto router it or do I need a whole new port or what the main cause is so it is what it is right now I'm kind of just rolling with the punches <sighs> but yeah so it's been a long day already it's almost seven o'clock at night I have another meeting to go to and then I'm just I'm just swamped right now I'm ready to go home and relax and then if I don't get a phone call from surgical tomorrow then I have to call them because once a medical device stops working it's implanted in your body your body will start to attack it so I'm hoping it won't do that anytime soon but scientifically speaking there's a chance it is what it is life with chronic illness never a dull moment so I just got the phone chatting with my BFF Dave it's always good to t chat and just bounce ideas about life off of each other. It's always great. I enjoy it. Uh, Dave and I, we started in like elementary school together and went all the way through high school. So we've known each other for Christ going on 20 plus years. That's impressive. Uh, vest therapy is done. It's 9.30 at night. So that's good to rock and roll. Just need to check my blood sugar. Here shortly because it'll go off at three o'clock in the morning telling me I need to check my sugar since the two-hour warm-up lasted five hours today whoops I forgot to hit the two-hour warm-up this morning when it had to reset the sensor so uh, yeah took took a lot longer than anticipated again still no word from the surgical clinic so I'll have to give them a call tomorrow probably after pain management and just try and get everything organized with the port and going from there uh, all in all, pretty productive day with the meeting at the rescue company. Budgets have been set. I just need to talk with the treasurer to get the um, monies for the picnic. And then we're good to go, basically. So, uh, should have a final number on the budget by next week. So, looking forward to that. And looking forward to the picnic to help the members feel appreciated for doing their volunteer and civic service to the community. Uh, more than a mouthful for sure. So with that in mind, I'm going to end the vlog here tonight because I'm exhausted. I had a late night yesterday by saying, as always, thank you for watching. Have a great night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.